morning, everyone. Um, I'm known as the other Professor K in the group. <laughs> both of our names start with a K, and both of our names are very long and not that easy to pronounce. And both of us have an accent. Now, I asked how much just before the session whether it's okay to just tell you a few stories. Just a few. Um, everyone until now has been very serious and talked about this, their professional experience and their collaboration, um, their research. Tom um, and I go back to the time when he was first hired at Stanford. I was a graduate student, and unfortunately, I had already taken design classes, so had I known better, I should have taken them again from him. Maybe I would have learned something about design. And at the time, um, the way I remember the helmet is that he was a hardcore <coughs> structural engineer who spent numerous hours in the laboratory. And I was the softcore structural baby engineer spend a lot of time with equations and primarily dabbling with probabilities that the word called probabilities. Now I should tell you how Helen got hired. Oops. <laughs> um, Let me tell you, it still applies. 
so it's you know. <laughs> okay, well, um, some of the other things that we've done, and again, I'm going to keep it more on the light side. I remember wonderful parties at the Home Center where I helped me with my dancing party. Um, I was talking to the students at the Home Center yesterday, and they were surprised that we had some pretty, often called, wild parties where we would be singing and dancing and drinking and eating. And, um, those are some of the memories that I have. So the other memories are the great ski trips. And I can't remember who mentioned them. I think Greg mentioned them earlier. Those were truly memorable experience when I would be coming down the ski slope just barely staggering along and trying not to fall down and how we come down with a small step. Whoosh! Talking about perfection, elegance, precision, you know, that was how we skiing. But the highlight of those trips were the evenings when we would all get together, we'll be huddled in one condo about 40 or 50 faculty and students and spouses, and how we were cooking his um, famous goulash, and the smell of the glue vine. Glue vine, is that correct? Not in the Latin pronunciation, the glue vine. Um, the aroma will be everywhere, and depending on the group, the, the fantastic food would be followed either by singing or dancing or by piano performances. Every year we had different classes that had different talents. And those were truly memorable experiences. I attribute a great deal of those to you. It was your initiative to, to a great extent. Um, some of the other experiences. So yes, on one of those trips we also um, ended up playing until the wee hours a game called Mama. And it's a traditional Austrian game that I want to tell <laughs> this is the one you thought I would tell, so shall I tell the story? No. I tell the story. <laughs> you can see that I can spend the rest of the morning just telling stories about Helmut. But um, since then, we continue to play Mau Mau as part of our group activity in the department once in a while. When we get tired, students, you're not hearing this. When we get, get tired of all our daily, daily activity, we organize a little Mau Mau game at the end of the day, on like Thursday evening or Friday evening, and they're always a lot of fun. So when I think of Helmut, I think of various things. Um, I think of someone who is very dedicated. I've never seen any, any other faculty who is as dedicated as Helmut. You can see Saturday, Sunday evenings, if, if you want something done, you ask help. It's going to be done, it's going to be done precisely, it's going to be done on time. Um, it's been a great pleasure. Let me just conclude, because I can see that I'm taking too long. Helmut, it's been a privilege and an honor to be working with you and your colleague. Um, thank you for your support over the years. I've had tremendous support from you, Helmut. Your positive attitude. I have to say, every morning when I walk in, I walk by Helmut's office. There's always that chair was, good morning, and this takes the day. Your smile, thank you for your wonderful times at the boom parties and the great ski trips. Thank you for sharing some of the smelliest cheeses that nobody else would eat, but we would. And the wonderful wines. Thank you for teaching me how to play my mom, and I really look